How to lose weight. Five tips for losing five pounds in a week. And if you keep this up week after week, you should lose after once you get over the, 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 the easy fat, at least one pound a week following these tips. Any of us of the following sounds familiar? You desperately want to lose weight, but you tried so many different diets and failed over the years that you've grown discouraged. Let's face it, most diets aren't easy to maintain. They're designed to get weight off, not for your personal convenience. And once you get off the diet, the weight comes right back along with a bit more. Thus, you end up worse off than before. No matter what diet you try, from the cabbage soup diet to the master cleanse to low-fat diets such as the Atkins, one of the two things usually happens. You lose some weight along with your sanity as life becomes unbearable grudge of boring food and not enough of it. You don't lose weight because you cannot stick to that diet. In either case, you feel bad, discouraged, maybe even like a failure, but take heart. Losing weight is possible. I've done it. In fact, there are five simple yet sound tips that when followed could easily enable, enable you to lose five pounds or more a week. Now again, let me just clarify. In the first couple of weeks, you should lose five pounds or more. But once that period of easy fat goes, then gets to the hard work. And this is what this is talking about, along with the insanity of life becomes an unbearable drudge of boring food and not enough of it. Well, we're here to tell you, you could eat plenty of food as long as it's the right food. You know, like this gal in this picture, keep away from everything that's in that picture. Cakes, cookies, crackers, muffins, candy, all that stuff is not good for you. Yeah, you might have to do some exercise. Yeah, you will have to eat a salad. But you could come to love a salad. Let's get into it. Tip number one, cut the carbs. No carbs for you. Cutting down on your carbohydrate intake, particularly white carbs, that is, carbs from white bread, potatoes, etc., and instead eating more high-quality lean proteins, such as chicken and fish, is a great way to drop a few pounds quickly. But don't cut carbs completely. You should still eat fibrous carbs such as salads, leafy, leafy vegetables, avocados, and an assortment of fruits. We are recommending eating zero carbohydrate pork rinds. It has zero trans fat, zero grams of total carbs, are gluten free, and the total fat content is only five grams. Look at this uh, slice of pizza. Oh, come on. It only takes two hours of running to burn off this slice. I love pizza. I love Italian bread. I love uh, muffins. I love bagels. But they're killing me. And they made me fat. And it's the carbs. And anything that, that's derived from f wheat flour is going to make you fat. You have to come to realize it. You know, bread is adult candy. Once you eat it, it turns into sugar and the sugar turns to fat. Keep away from it. No carbs for you. Cut down. Cut down for life if you really want to lose the weight and then keep it off. Tip number two, stop eating processed foods. Instead, eat more fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Often people are used to eating a lot of junk food when they when will discover that can actually have a higher quantity of delicious fruits, nuts, vegetables, and whole grains without gaining any weight. Look at this uh, picture here. Stop eating crap. C for carbonated drinks, R for refined sugars, A for artificial foods, and B a P for processed foods. Try to eat natural foods. Keep away from processed, artificial, refined sugars, and especially give up those carbonated drinks, be they diet or uh, full, di uh, full carbon uh, diet, sorry, uh, or regular soda. Keep away from fries. Uh, the, you can have a hamburger, get rid of the bun. 
You can have a diet iced tea. Get away from the carbonation. Look at all these bad foods. Everything that we all love. Pizza, hamburger, hot dog roll, french fries. They're the worst. Uh, uh, burritos, pretzels, french fries, uh, chocolate c c candy, uh, carbonated soda, pizza, uh, tiramisu, muffins, beer. Just give up. If you can't give it up completely, give up as much as you can if you want to be successful in we losing weight for life. Cut down on your sugar intake. In particular, watch how many sodas or juice drinks you consume. You know, we tell everybody, don't drink orange juice in the morning. You're giving, your shot, uh, giving yourself a shot of pure sugar. The sugar in these beverages can add up quickly, and these drinks aren't filling. You know, they're empty, empty, empty calories. You should also watch out for fat-free products. Sugar is often used to replace the flavor that is lost when the fat is removed. You will also want to be careful about how much sugar you add to your coffee and tea. Fat-free normally means it's loaded with sugar. But what happens once sugar is ingested in the body is stored in the body as fat. It's not fat that makes you fat, it's sugar that makes you fat. And when you c comprehend that statement, you will come to realize it's not that hard to lose the weight. Caution, buy nothing low fat. You want the fat because fat doesn't make you fat. Tip number four, drink more water. Water naturally helps to suppress your appetite and drinking at least eight glasses of water a day will help you lose weight and burn fat. On the other hand, if you don't drink enough water every day, your body will store water and that fat that you don't need. To determine how much water you should drink, multiply your body weight by 0.66 to get the required number of ounces per day. So how to lose belly fat, belly fat fast. This is our number one tip for how to lose belly fat fast. Drink more water, lots more. Drink at least a half of the weight of your body in ounces of water. For example, if you weigh 140 pounds, you should consume 70 ounces of water daily. This tip is essential for getting the fat loss process in high gear. You know, you lose the weight in your urine, not in your feces. Yeah, in your urine. It turns to a liquid and leaves your body as a liquid. So drink more water. Exercise more often. The healthiest way to lose weight is ex to exercise. Someone who increases the amount they exercise but maintains the same diet and calorie intake will almost certainly lose weight. Plus, excessive sweating from cardio activity such as running, walking, using aerobic gym equipment will help you de 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 bloat, de 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 bloat and lose inches and pounds quickly. That was a hard one, the bloat. Exercise is not the key to weight loss though. It's the key to health. And you wanna be healthy. This is why you wanna lose weight, not only look pretty. What it means for you. Don't expect to be able to lose a lot of weight by ramping up physical activity alone. Well, exercise is usually important for overall health. How much and what you eat has a much bigger impact on your waistline. So, you know, you could ride a bike for two hours and lose 400 calories and have two slices of pizza and it's gone. You consume more in two slices of pizza than two hours of riding a bike. And by the way, we highly recommend bike riding for overweight people. You know, I see them on the bike trail. I give them a lot of credit don't be embarrassed by your weight, you're obese. Get out there because the people that are skinny now may have one time been obese also. So get out there. If you can't ride a bike, walk. You have two feet, put one in front of the other and walk. You have to have a mental plan in your head that you can do this and start a little bit, a little bit. And let's talk about that. 
But a word of caution, if you haven't exercised in a while, be sure to check with your physician first and also to be sure to start anti-exercise programs slowly. So walking. My father's 94 years old and he goes walking every day of the week, weather permitting. And when the weather doesn't permit, he exercises in his house. It's good for your heart, it's good for your head, and it fights depression and gets you over the hurdles that life is forever throwing at us. Okay, that's it for now. You take these five tips to heart and do what it says. Play this video over and over every time you need it. And remember, the Saturday morning diet is a low carb diet. We recommend bacon and eggs or oatmeal in the morning water all day. You can make a wonderful Joan Bars meal replacement. We give the recipe free at JoanBars.com. You could have a, a, a protein for lunch with a salad. We offer, we tell you to have those pork rinds on hand. We tell you to drink plenty of water. In the evening, have some protein with a salad. Make your own coleslaw. After that, an hour or two later, you can have diet jello with some homemade whipped cream. Mmm, that's so good. Okay, that's it for now. Bye-bye. Please, get the word out. Share this video with everybody in your world. Bye-bye. Go to JoanBars.com to get your free copy of our 10-page weight loss report and Joan Bars recipe. It's totally free. Get your copy today. Go to SaturdayDiet.com to review our new and improved weight loss e-course packages. We've upgraded our program, Better Value for Your Money, three price points, bronze, silver, and gold, a budget for everyone. Please subscribe and share this information with all the women, all the men, and all the people in your life. And like us on Facebook, Saturday Diet. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.